If you were to survey 100 people and ask them this question, what's better, to give a child a lollipop or to steal a lollipop from a child, what do you think the results would be? My guess is most people would vote for giving a child a lollipop over stealing one. Or what if you were to survey 100 people and ask, which would you prefer, swimming in the open ocean with dolphins or swimming in the open ocean with sharks? Again, the answer is obvious. Some choices are easier than others. That's why I'm so intrigued by what Samuel the Lamanite taught in Helaman 14. He said, ye are free, ye are permitted to act for yourselves. God hath given unto you that ye might know good from evil, and he hath given unto you that ye might choose life or death. In saying these words, Samuel seems to echo the words of a previous Nephite prophet, Jacob, who said, Ye are free to act for yourselves, to choose the way of everlasting death or the way of eternal life. Choose life or death. The answer seems pretty obvious. But we rarely are offered a clear choice between life and death. Satan is skilled at making choices that lead to spiritual death seem appealing and fun, and choices that lead to eternal life seem dull and tedious. That's why Samuel's words are so important. God has given us the knowledge of good and evil. It's our responsibility to see through Satan's sophistries and choose the way of eternal life, not the way of death. Both Samuel and Jacob connect the idea of choosing life over death with the fact that we, in Samuel's words, are free. We are permitted to act for ourselves. While I love the idea of being free, it does come with a string attached. Because you and I are 100% free to make whatever choices we want to make, that means we are 100% responsible for our decisions. Samuel taught this saying, remember, whosoever perisheth, perisheth unto himself. And whosoever doeth iniquity, doeth it unto himself. For behold, ye are free. In other words, because we are free to choose, we don't have anybody to blame but ourselves if we make poor choices. Elder Dale G. Renlund of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles taught, Blaming others, even if justified, allows us to excuse our behavior. By doing so, we shift responsibility for our actions to others. When the responsibility is shifted, we diminish both the need and our ability to act. We turn ourselves into hapless victims rather than agents capable of independent action. Instead of making excuses, let us choose repentance. I love that phrase, instead of making excuses, let us choose repentance. All of us will make mistakes. From time to time, Satan will make evil look good and we will fall into his trap. When that happens, remember, we're not stuck. We're free to choose repentance. We can, as Samuel said, choose life. And remember, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I pray that we will all choose that life.